Wars. No. Uh, I've got a new addition to my family, and I have to show you guys. A lot of people around this time of year buy uh, new chicks. We've had chickens for probably six or seven years now, I think. Yeah, whatever. Six or seven years. <clears throat> and uh, we went to the store the other day. We picked some new ones up. And here's the new guys here. Over to the far left. I don't know what the kids named them. But uh, my daughter and her cousin got to name them. And one of her friends. So... I think there's Nugget, and uh, I forget the other ones, but the little white one is Nugget. Got a new feeder, brand new, got a new water, and uh, we had the rabbit cage. But for many years, whenever we get new chicks, we always put them in here. And it just so happens, we got really lucky with, uh, we have this light that goes up to here, and hooks onto here, and we usually use it for a light in here. And we used to have that one metal, light and we thought we'd have to use that and I was like well, wait a minute this is, serves the same purpose that doesn't have the reflective you know stuff in there but this works just as fine it's 125 watt bulb heat lamp it's not the orange one because it kind of looks like Kenny Rogers roasters and I just uh I asked the guy and he said no you don't need to have that one so got this this was a seed starter by Karina and, uh, they seem to like they're really rambunctious little birdies, cute as ever. Uh, we got a silver lace, or a blue lace, and uh, I think that's the one to the far left, the tan one. The white one is a leghorn, that's the one that I picked out. My daughter and Anna picked out the uh, two dark ones, I think those are uh, Orpingtons or Australorps. I think they're Australorps, but good producers. We don't eat our chickens, you know. Uh, we just let them make us eggs and uh, toast if they want to as well. It's a little bit of Dwight humor for them, a straight face. Now they're going crazy on there. Let's see what the heck they're doing. And we got uh, this on there. In the daytime, we take it off though, so they can see what's going on. We play with them. Uh, my daughter is. You know, she likes to play with them. She likes to have fun with them. And uh, <clears throat> the dogs, Cricket, Cricks, as you can see, she's really, she's super friendly to them. And she's super friendly to everybody. But uh, I think, you know, the one uh, was on her back the other day and she was walking around. She didn't care. Which was pretty cool. We had to have we have one on our back too. It was kind of comical. Should have got a video of that. Um, but yeah, if you could hit that like button, drop a comment, drop a suggestion. Uh, this is our setup. It's always worked really well for us. We are safe. We got a fire detector right above here. We got a fire detector or smoke detector right over there too. So you got to keep in mind stuff happens, man. Um, <clears throat> with we got electricity and uh any type of like flammable stuff and there's a heavy you know intense high wattage bulb that creates a lot of heat you gotta be smart with it uh, and like I said our setup you know here it is you got about five inches from there these little guys seem really happy they'll be producing eggs probably about eight months from now they're a little bit bigger than the normal chicks that you usually get uh but i didn't care you know they didn't have a lot of chicks i think the big seller right now are the americanas they were all gone because we wanted to get two more because we already have three of them um we had four but uh one was picking on cricket and i think cricket might have took her out but uh yeah that's that cricket's a good dog. My dogs are good, but man, when these birds start getting fussy and they start get, trying to get dominant on them, you know, like anybody, they can only take so much before they, uh, you know, bite back and uh, cricket bit back. So, but otherwise, you know, I think they're a good investment. You know, with all this craziness, with all the eggs, you know, shortages and everything, we were ahead of the game. We were, uh, you know, 
we were buying eggs, but not as much because our two big girls, uh, we got two uh, Orpingtons. They were putting eggs out pretty good, so I know now we'll have plenty. And the old girls that we got, they're not putting eggs out much anymore. Maybe like a couple a week. And we're not going to kill them. We're not going to put them down or anything like that. A lot of people were suggesting, well, why do you have them if they're not producing? <clears throat> they produce for us. They were good to us for a long time. I can't do that. So there's me not being a farmer, but being more sensitive uh, individual. I just, uh, it, we got a lot of memories with the birds too. It's just, can't do it. They go, they go. But uh, they're getting older. Time will take them, if anything. I'm not taking them. So. I hope the cricket doesn't try and take them, right? But, yeah, we appreciate the uh, comments. And uh, my suggestion to anyone starting this out new is have it all ready before you, before you go and buy them. Have it all ready. Because all they're going to give you is this little box. They got starter kits, too. But, you know... Now, this wasn't bad. This our neighbor gave us, actually. Uh, the light, we got set up easily. I like it. Uh, you don't have to have it like this. But for us, it really works. Water, fresh water. You'll clean it out almost every day. Uh, and these are good birds. They're really, uh, I think it's a good mix. They're getting along nicely. You can get all the same kind. I like mixing it up. I like a good blend. So, that's that. Uh... Have your coop set up too. Before we got our birds, uh, we didn't have our first coop set up. The, one, the big one in the yard. I'm actually going to modify it. But uh, yeah, it is important that you have this stuff set up so you don't stress because it's something new and you want to have a good setup. So if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Thanks for your time. Thanks for the new subscribers. I'm really happy to have some new people with us and uh, getting comments, I'm getting feedback on stuff and uh, I'm learning too with you guys. And uh, if you got any suggestions in the future for what to do with these chicks, hey, you know, let me know. Thanks, have a good rest of your day.